Hello everybody, this is The Wanderer. I wanted to uh, talk about my bicycles. Last year, I, uh, I bought this bike. Uh, didn't want to spend a whole lot of money here. It's just a basic, uh, very inexpensive bike. It's uh, by Kent. It's the Bayside, and it's just a seven-speed bike. It has a steel uh, frame. And it's kind of heavy. Uh, since I got it, I added the uh, cargo rack. I changed the seat. I added the uh, ram mount for my phone and a mirror. And then on the inside of the tires, I put um, I put the uh, heavier uh, puncture-resistant uh, inner tubings and liners uh, because it gets stickers. And the um, so. It's, it's a nice bike. It's very comfortable, relatively speaking. And uh, I'll also change the seat. And, but the, um, it's a little bit heavy. This weighs, I would say, more than 45 pounds the way it is. And the very first day that I rode it, I got stickers on both tires and got flat tires. So that was, uh, that was a learning experience. The... Um, my intentions were to keep it for maybe a year, then I would have a better idea of what my, uh, well, first of all, if I was going to continue riding the bicycles at all, and then also uh, what my riding style would be, my preferences, my activities and such. Um, so one thing I noticed was that uh, a lot of other bicyclists would pass me all the time. And it's not necessarily the bicycle, they're just in better shape. But I thought I could do uh, I could go a little bit faster because it's just a seven speed. But the uh, the fastest I ever got this bike was uh, 20 miles an hour, and I usually ride around the neighborhood for about an hour. I have a route that I follow. It's about 6.83 miles, and there's this one stretch uh, on the road where it's a little bit of a uh, of a downhill and uh, slight downhill and uh, I on top gear I pedal as fast as I can and I can't go any faster but I know that it, it could be done so I've been thinking of getting another bike and uh, uh, kind of an upgrade so I did now let me just show you what I got I had uh, considered other bikes and finally went ahead and got this one. So this morning I took my first ride on it and uh, just like my very first ride on the other bike, I got all these stickers on there and two flat tires. So in both instances I had to walk the bike home. But it was a fun bike to ride before I got the flat tires. Uh, it's pretty fast. The this bike must be at least 10 pounds lighter than that bike and it has a 20, 24 speeds so I went on top speed and uh, I managed to get it up to a little over 17, 17 and a half miles uh, per hour uh, on that and unfortunately um, I couldn't do any more because I had to walk it home but it's a mountain bike so besides being lighter weight, uh, of course it has the suspension uh, forks on here, 24 speeds. And this is the Dynacraft's, uh, is the manufacturer, Ozone 500 is the, uh, uh, the brand name. And this is the Gira Tereno, I guess. And uh, it's got the disc brakes. And uh, it's nice. It's not a top-of-the-line bicycle. Uh, I didn't feel like spending a thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars on a bicycle. I'm not at that level. Uh, but a lot of the owners uh, 
were very happy with that. It, they thought it was a good value, uh, the features you got for the uh, money spent. So one of the things was that uh, I couldn't see different frame sizes for this bike, uh, only one. So it's a little big for me. Um, when I stand, I should be able to uh, stand over the top end of this back piece here, but it's too high. I can't stand in front of the saddle uh, flat-footed. And it's a different riding style, uh, leaning forward. That one is more comfortable in, in my position, but this one is so much fun. It's just fast, light, nimble. So uh, I'm going to be riding it some more as soon as I get take care of the flat tires uh, there. So anyway, that's my new toy, and that's where we are. Thank you for watching.